So let's talk about the flipped classroom. The flipped classroom is a model of teaching in which the student's homework is their traditional lecture viewed outside of class through e-learning based platforms. Then class time is spent on inquiry based learning which would include what would traditionally be viewed as the student's homework assignment. So in a traditional classroom, the teacher's role is to be a sage on the stage. The instructor gives a single lesson to a large group and then learning must continue on the student's level. In a flipped classroom, the student receives a lesson ahead of time, then comes to class and the instructor ensures that learning occurred. So firefighting is a hands-on environment. Training time should be spent in the hard environment. The flipped classroom is an ideology, it's not a methodology. So many educators are experimenting with the idea of a flipped classroom model. It involves inverting traditional teaching message, methods, delivering instruction online outside of class and moving homework into the classroom. So what's in it for you? Flipping the Classroom provides participants with the tools that will help bring your fire service training program into the new millennium while keeping the focus on the firefighters need for quality training. So a lot of departments will find that before they flip the classroom, they'll have to go through a certain amount of instruction in the classroom and their guys tend to kind of tune out on it and not really get a lot out of it. So by flipping the classroom, you put all the learning ahead of time and then you allow for reinforcement time in the actual classroom on the drill ground on the fire ground. How many people stand in line at the bank or store and pass the time by being on their smartphone? Take advantage of this. So a lot of people will get on YouTube, they'll get on Facebook, they'll get on various websites while they're on their smartphone. So you can break up stuff onto YouTube and you can allow your students to get onto YouTube and watch your videos beforehand. It just takes a little bit of training and development on the front end to make sure that you can accomplish those goals. So our first objective today is to explain the flip classroom. Our second objective is to offer examples and ways to flip your fire training program. And the third objective is to demonstrate and create your own flip program. So we will actually do that throughout the day. So yesterday we had instructor-led knowledge, classroom knowledge, and practical skills. Today we have instructor-led enhanced lecture practical skills we can store and view more readily available. Tomorrow we'll have instructor mentors, we'll have learning outside the classroom, and skills will be measured and graded by instructors during class time. So why flip the classroom? Again, when you teach a traditional class, you throw the information and what sticks, sticks. Flipping the class allows students to learn at their pace and capabilities. So in a traditional classroom, you tell the students that they have to read from pages 12 to 36 and tomorrow they'll answer 20 questions about the topic. In a flip classroom, you give the assignment, you say, why don't you watch this video tonight so we can discuss your ideas tomorrow. So it allows students to learn at their own pace. In a hybrid classroom, you meet one to two times a month with videos, online lessons, and homework to supplement. You have distance learning or larger departments with all companies that can't make it to the training grounds at the same time. So that gives you an advantage. It increases our ability to reach more students and more people than we could before. Pre-course training becomes not just one training a month, you reach those that are stretched on time or distant, and you set up students to be prepared for hands-on evolutions, which for us is very critical. This is a breakdown of learning styles. You have visual or images, oral, which is sound or music, verbal, speech and writing, logical, reason, physical, hands-on, social in groups, solitary and alone. These are all the different learning styles we use. 
Students change. Students of all ages are changing. The millennium students, the older students, the veteran students, the instructors are becoming more entertainers. So adult learners are problem-centered. They seek solutions to where they are than rather than where they want to be. They want results to today's problems and they seek information themselves when faced with a problem. They're skeptical concerning new information. They want to see where it applies to them. Where is it timely, current, and where do they need it? That applies to the what's in it for me. Online training will free up time for what we really want to do, especially when compliance training is involved. How many times have you sat through an OSHA lecture or a HAZMAT lecture as far as the yearly compliance requirements and had to go through all those tasks at the same time? It gives a heads up to what is going to be done. Not all training needs to be formalized. It leaves more time to do hands-on, and online training packets can facilitate as much self-guided training as possible. Here are some examples. You have online drills and training packets. You have training modules. You have simulations, and you have web-based training. In a flipped classroom, we use computers, tablets, projectors, smart boards, smartphones, and teleconferencing. In a basic flipped classroom, you have a self-study assignment prior to the classroom session. You include objectives to be met, study material, video references, and a written test. Pre-course work allows the session time to answer questions rather than teach. There are several commercial solutions available. There's target solutions and responder safety network. On web meetings, you can meet for training and you can go interact with troops at other stations. You can use WebEx, GoToMeeting, the Regional Alliance for Firefighters Training. We use a lot of Zoom at the Instructors Association in order to get our point across. With new media, you use software to create e-learning. Most use PowerPoint as the foundation. You can use iSpring, Articulate, Flashpoint Pro, or just in general, you can use PowerPoint. You can record PowerPoint using a Zoom teleconference or a particular other conferencing solution you want to use. Basically, you set up a screen share, you record your audio at the same time as you're lecturing, and then you can go from there. So today we're going to use PowerPoint to build a short presentation that can be a basic flipped class. So we'll actually get to that here in a few moments. When you're building a presentation, you want to build your slides, write your script, record your slideshow, recording narrations and deleting if needed. Each slide has a speaker. You save your presentation and then you push it out to your students. You can package an online presentation, an online package, slides and notes, PDF, HTML, or various other different forms of distributing your presentation. Social media can be a big tool. You can navigate the students towards what you want them to learn. So you can have Facebook groups or pages, you can have blogs, or you can have YouTube playlists. These are simulations. You can add smoke and fire to a still photo to create a fully animated choose your destiny scenario. You can Photoshop it. You can use Sims you share by command sim. You can use fire studio or you can use tactical fire table. My personal favorite is Sims you share because you can take pictures of things that are in your first do. You can lay in smoke and fire elements over them, animate it, and then put it into one combined presentation that you can use. Training packets. You have monthly training packets where packups set up learning for the month. They're self-guided. They act as a roadmap to direct students to training topic destinations. You include the main training topic along with student skill review topics, suggested reading and viewing material. So let's get to it.
let's start designing some presentations.